Hey guys, it's me Nikki from the Rainbow Loom Creation Station and I'm going to be making a Happy Halloween bracelet. This is also known as the Starfish, but I'm just calling that Happy Halloween because you know, Halloween's around and I'm just so happy. So first off, Happy Halloween. I don't know when I'm going to upload it, but if it's before Halloween, then Happy Halloween if it's after. So, Happy Halloween or Happy Thanksgiving. So, yeah. Um, I can't wait till it gets started. Oh, first off, thank you guys so much for the 2,197 views on my Hexafish. I hope you guys love this one also so much. Thank you guys so much and let's get into the video. What you will need is your loom, uh, your pick, and your choice of rubber bands, but this at one, you don't have a choice. You're using orange and black, cause it's Halloween, you know. So yeah, let's get into placing the rubber bands. Okay, so what you'll be doing is you're going to take your loom and you're going to use just one side of it, one. So first, you're just gonna take your red orange, just like you can see, I had a hard time. And you're gonna twist it into a figure eight. So you just twist it into one peg. Then you put a band over it. Then you're gonna put another band over it. So you're gonna do this six times, just wait. I had some trouble with the camera. Okay, so now you're going to take your pick thingy, yeah, your pick, and you're just going to basically take it and bring it over both sides, just like a normal, um, what's it called, fishtail, but you always want to keep six on until you're basically done. So, yeah, so now you just keep on. I'm going to show you another one with the black, and you're just going to want to put it in a pattern. You know, red, black, no, not red. Orange, black, orange, black, orange, black. And just keep on putting one on. So yeah, let's get on to, now I'm gonna stop and now I'm just going to check into you when I'm done with the bracelet, yay! Okay, so I know mine is a little bit small, but it's okay, cause I'm using mine as a, like a little keychain or a ring. So I just like to make mine small so I don't spend countless hours on it. Cause it does take a few, a good half hour or so. So now I'm going to just to teach you guys how to take it off, yay. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're just going to take this side and it's a little hard. So your pick will be in good help. And you're gonna slide it to through the pick to the middle. And then you're just going to bring it over to this one. So, yeah. Okay, so now that you are complete, just slide the last rubber, uh, extension rubber band so then you don't have so much on your C clip or S clip and it might not fit. So just slide it in there. <sighs> it's a little hard. I'm using an orange one, but you can use an orange, black, white one. I honestly really don't care. So now you've got it in, you're just going to take this is a little hard to catch on camera sometimes because you need your space, but I'm gonna try it. So it's a little tricky. It's still tricky for me, and I know, and I've been making rainbow loop bracelets for a long time. So you just put it right in there. You put your pick in, and then you grab the other end, which isn't really the uh, the band isn't really choosing to right now. Okay, got it and you put it through. So now this just makes the C or S, whatever you're using, just easier. It makes life easier. So now you're just going to pull it a little bit and you're just going to put the C clip. Yeah, I'm using, I picked up a C clip because I have a bunch of different ones. And now I'm just pulling. You could take it off and now you don't need your loom anymore. And now you can just hook the extension one so that you started with onto it and wait <sighs> okay and there you go um yes you're probably saying i'm trying to yes you're probably saying whoops dropped it 
you're probably saying, man, this looks a lot like the um, um, fishtail. But when you compare it, I was trying to get it. Okay, you can obviously tell that there is a difference. That it's tighter, it's fatter, so it's almost like a fat um, fishtail, and I call it the starfish to not be like mean to people or maybe chubby. But yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed yours, and I definitely will enjoy my bracelet or keychain thingy. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned in for more and subscribe. And re thank you, remember, for the um, 2,000 views on my Hexafish. I will link it down below so you can watch it. Thanks, bye.